I've always had a strong desire to be part of a group. I excel with many, not on my own. I've never painted before. I've never painted in my life, but when you put your mind to something and you know you've got a desire, yeah, have a go, have a go. Definitely a healing aspect in, in, in the artwork of painting because it's just, it takes you into a zone where you can just, just be free to think about and do whatever you want and then that's transferred onto your canvas. When you get down, you just paint and just, you escape it, you, you know, you just put yourself into the painting and you're right. By our journey um, within the group and what, where we've come as a group, um, will help us strengthen ourselves emotionally and um, spiritually and we're ready to explore um, different places. Back in the year I was born in 1950, um, I was definitely too white to be black, so I was taken from my mother. The idea behind this was these pieces here, you know, here's a piece of jagged timber, uh, there's little remnants of flowers floating, various flotsam and jetsam. But you also, beneath all that, you've got myriads of different forms of life. And I felt that the frog was probably a very good thing to use as far as, you know, from the egg to the tadpole and what we grow into looks vastly different from the little tadpole we started as and the various shades and those of us of the stolen generation are many different shades. Um, I wrote a piece once and I said that we had been genetically bleached um, and being black was all about what was in here not what was here. My painting's about healing. Um, this is a quinine berry, which has a lot of medicinal pro properties. The Aboriginal people um, use this um, medicine quite regularly back in the day. This story in particular um, was told to me by Uncle Ron Munro from Ginger. And he told me about Johnson's Rock, which is what I'm depicting here, and how the tribe used to cross at Johnson's Rock on their way to the Great Feast at Bunya Mountains. What the butterfly means is, to me, is they say, but the butterfly, the butterfly only lived for one day. And I think about some of the stolen generation, and especially my grandparents that never went back to their country, you know. And I suppose being that butterfly and just ha have one day would have meant the world to them as to go to their country, you know. This represents the mountain range. Um, with all these in between our people. Okay, so we come from the land out to which meets the sea and the river system with all the people, or tribes as you call them, around there, and this represents our dreaming. So with that we connect our, through our artwork and our spirituality. Tales about my two deceased brothers. Um, one passed away when I was about five years old, and I remember the day when he passed away, and I haven't forgotten to this day. So the two rainbow serpents actually represent my two brothers that have passed away and, and their two jujuridus, which they never got. It wasn't until I finished that I realised it was about them. This painting represents being taken away from your country love, taken into the city and uh, taken away from your heritage. I was taken away from my family when I was about 13 months old. I didn't find them until I was 47. It's very hard when you've been a, a child 
child that's been taken away because nobody actually understands until they have experienced it, you know. Um, my healing came when I found my mother and my family. I suppose because I don't know my family, I have a lot of fire and burning in me. It's just, it's a sort of a, a, a paint a lot of fire and, and burning, actually. I think it's just a passion to find out my core, where I'm from. This, I think, is my family groups for me, searching. And the flowers is like a new birth, a new beginning, and a new journey for me to uh, find out where I come from, find out why I paint, why I'm driven to paint. Um, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it's just my being, my essence, what I just have to create. It, it's something that I need to do. You see the yellow for the beach, the blue for the ocean, and that the shells sort of cover both areas. You can find them in the ocean and on the beach. Um, shell is quite strong, can be used for different things. And I guess that's a bit like us, you know, you can't limit us, we're, we're the only ones that limit ourselves. And we are here for a purpose, and whatever that purpose may be, we're here to serve it. It's a painful thing to um, actually hear about what's happened. Um, in the past with the people and, and, and how it's changed people's lives and where they sit and it was lovely to get together with my ladies and um, actually listen to their story. The majority of artists here in Bundaberg aren't actually from this area so it was good to have their input and their ideas and the, the way that they do their paintings on our, and it shows up in our canvases just the different areas that they come from and it's just beautiful. It's been a very successful program. The community has shown a lot of support towards the program, both the Indigenous community and the wider community. I think this project is really good. I recommend that Link Up continues with this project and look forward to um, basically having some more of these projects happening. So I just thought it was it was marvellous to be a part of this. I think that it's it's wonderful to have people come together and share knowledge that we all have as a community from so many different places and I'd, I'd love for it to happen again. No matter where you come from, whether you come from the ocean or inland, we're all connected. We just like the butterfly on the tree.